Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. We are going to learn about a very, very famous issue about the Chrome driver. Like, like suppose if you are having a Chrome driver version, which is named as a, uh, suppose a Chrome driver version, if we have triple one. So definitely if you want to run our test cases, automation test cases with the help of the Selim, then we must need to download the Chrome driver versions, which is named as a triple one. So whenever we are downloading this version, suppose I downloaded this version where guys here and suppose this is my version uh, where it is my version. Suppose this is my version. Let me check. Yep. So this is my version and this version uh, number is a triple one. Okay, here you can see. But when we are configured this thing uh, in our Selenium script, suppose I configured this thing in my Selenium script and I'm going to run my scripts here. You can see guys. If I'm going to run my scripts, my, my Chrome driver is opening, but the URL is not hitting over here. Here you can see guys, my URL is not hitting over here and my, my script is going to fail over here. This is a known issue and, and uh, some, some people raise this issue to the Google community, uh, community and probably those people are working on the fix of this issue guys. Okay, so the, the question is, is there any workaround are we completely blocked for running our test cases on the Chrome browsers? Basically, the answer is no, guys. There is a another workaround. Basically, we have. So, what exactly we have to do? We must need to use the Chrome Options class over here. Now, you might like everyone might aware about the Chrome Options class. So, whenever we want to set the browser related capability, that time basically we have to use the Driver Options class. Like each and every browser have their own own drivers basically own own options class basically we are having so if you are using the chrome then we are going to use chrome options class here i'm going to create an object over there is equal to new and here you can see guys this object basically i created once this is done now i'm going to use this object and i'm, I'm going to use another method which is named as a add argument and here i'm going to add the argument in double quoted i have to add double uh, like hyphen hyphen remote basically we have to add hyphen allow method basically we have to allow keyword basically we have to use hyphen origin methods origin methods basically we have to use guys uh, origins method we have to use is equal to this is the expression basically we have to add uh, star and uh, is equal to star this is an expression basically we have to use over here and at the last we have to pass the semicolon when this is done then what next we have to do like whatever object basically we created i just need to pass this object over here and that's it guys when this is done now here you can see i'm going to run my scripts one more time and here you can see guys what will happen now my chrome driver is opening my browser is probably going to open and here you can see guys my facebook url is successfully open over here okay so this is what exactly we have to do guys I'm going to send these scripts in my 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 uh, video description. Please please find out this this scripts over there. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thanks thanks for watching this video. Thank you.